Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. There's quite a lot to talk about today as we transition from this cold and quite snowy weather to a very unsettled and quite stormy pattern. And as that transition occurs, we're looking at the potential for significant snowfall and blizzards, heavy flooding rain and strong winds across quite a large part of the UK and Ireland. I thought I'd start off though by looking at what happened yesterday and into today with regards to the snow forecast and what we saw was a continued risk of snow showers uh, a few flurries along the east coast as that low moved into the north sea continued snow showers across scotland we've got uh, quite significant accumulations there but the main one i talked about was the risk of snow showers through northwest england into the midlands and that threat did materialize the areas close to the sea uh, actually saw more of a sleety mix and especially this morning temperatures increased a bit turning that to sleet and rain but further inland across the midlands initially kind of through the birmingham area and then even as far as parts of essex uh, and cambridgeshire saw snowfall in this corridor overnight dusting in some regions here and some fairly significant accumulation uh, across parts of the midlands uh, which was roughly expected but now things are looking very different this is a graphic i made the snow forecast for saturday this is going to be the last graphic uh, i make for this cold spell because it's basically coming to an end and you can see the risk is really focused across northern parts of the uk and ireland this time i mean it was before but now exclusively so you can see in a white quite a large area at risk of falling snow but the accumulating snow and significant snow will be exclusively to high ground however we are looking at the potential for blizzards and i'll cover that shortly but if we take a look at the overall weather pattern to get a good idea of what's going to change, you can see this is the remainder of our cold spell today. We've got that ridge nosing in just about keeping the chilly air in place. That all uh, is going to shift uh, in a completely different direction as we have Storm Burt here. You can see it's already developing quite strongly with a very uh, well-developed frontal band. And as that pushes northwards, it's going to slightly kind of isolate itself from the jet stream. But basically just stays in this spot and rapidly deepens uh, from around 970 millibars where it is now to below 940 millibars which is exceptionally low pressure and that could potentially break some November pressure records but also notice it essentially sends this uh, plume of moisture and wind into the UK and you can see that quite nicely on this precipitable water chart this essentially shows the amount of moisture the atmosphere is carrying and how much above the normal amount uh, that it's basically carrying and so this is storm belt here rapidly deepens overnight from a, just a small low to a very very deep low off to the northwest but notice most importantly we've got very strong winds at the 850 millibar level that's the level just above the ground around 1.5 kilometers and that is carrying this ribbon of moisture into the UK and Ireland we call that an atmospheric river and you can see that it transfers east into Saturday and Sunday and all of the UK is in green there and Ireland too indicating above average moisture and essentially stormy conditions so in terms of what the weather models show there's our big precipitation band pushing into uh, the UK and Ireland during tomorrow morning that's going to turn to snow uh, as it bumps into the remaining cold air as you can see here across parts of Northern Ireland and Western Ireland falling snow is possible settling snow may be across uh, high ground but remember that snow is going to be removed quickly as the mild air pushes through then around mid-morning uh, from kind of 7 till around 10 we're looking at heavy snowfall across a large part of scotland and northern england especially across parts of high ground through southern scotland and northern england we are looking at potentially 10 to 15 even 20 centimeters Across parts of the southern highlands, we could see as much as 40 centimetres of snow. So very, very significant amounts. You can see on the forecast depth chart here, uh, the rough indications we've got widely significant values. You can see probably the peak around 30 centimetres on this particular run. But I think the Met Office, it, the Met Office sorry, is suggesting 20 to 40 centimetres across high ground there. However, like I said, that mild, that, that kind of spell of snow is then followed by mild air pushing in from the west as you can see on the icon model that blue the cold snow conducive air completely removed and so that snow is all going to start to melt as we get into the mild air but that's still going to bring for a time disruption uh, during the day on saturday 
uh, and there's going to be a, a period of time where you've got a lot of snow on the floor, uh, or the, on the ground rather, so disruption to transport, possibly power supplies, and some communities could even be cut off for a short amount of time. And we actually have an amber warning of snow and ice across parts of central Scotland uh, during the day tomorrow, for, uh, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., as you can see, potentially 20 40 centimetres on hills. Additionally, we're going to get strong winds, uh, of course, as a deep low, the ice bars are pinching together, and across high ground, we could be seeing winds 40 to 60 miles an hour. And remember, for a blizzard, you only need wind gusts of 40 miles an hour. So heavy, blowing, drifting snow likely tomorrow, uh, hence the kind of blizzards possible on this graphic. By Saturday, that snow risk is gone completely. And then we're going to be looking at the potential for strong winds. Now, it's a fairly interesting setup we've got here. You can see on the 850 millibar wind pattern on the GFS, uh, you, you kind of start to develop this ribbon of strong winds. I briefly touched on this earlier, but this is essentially an atmospheric river, and that's driving moisture into the UK. As it hits the hills, it kind of rises, cools, condenses, and we get very heavy rainfall. And so we've got a lot of warnings of rain across western uh, and northern parts of the UK, but particularly across Island, we've got status red warnings from the area for heavy rainfall and flooding, uh, as you can see across parts of Cork and Galway. Uh, so that's essentially going to be the worst of it, and we could potentially be looking at some very high accumulations uh, over 100 millimeters uh, over the weekend, uh, as you can see here. This is the Aroan model, just a rough outline, uh, but gives probably a good indication of what's to come across the Lake, Dis Lake District, 100 millimetres likely there, similar across parts of southern Scotland, and then also across parts of Ireland, uh, western and southwestern areas where Met Aaron put those red warnings, looking at widely 50 to 100 millimetres of rain. I think the peak is going to be across parts of the Brecon Beacons, areas just to the north of Cardiff in South Wales, uh, widely over 100 millimetres there. That could cause some pretty serious flooding issues, especially if you've got any snow there, as that melts, that will be probably quite hazardous. I wouldn't be surprised to see amber warnings for rain issued. And then of course we have the risk of strong winds. I think initially you can see with the up level wind pattern it's going to be a fairly broad risk of gales uh, but then that's going to focus later uh, into Sunday during the day that's going to focus uh, into the southern half of the UK where we've got that strong low level jet. Winds just above the ground forecast to be uh, 70 to 80 miles an hour, uh, potentially even stronger, and that could translate down to the surface, especially if we get any convection. Uh, rainy as well uh, across the southwest, I mean that's what we were just talking about, uh, essentially heavy rain all through the day uh, across much of the UK on Saturday. You can see all of Ireland covered there, basically all of the UK then covered during Saturday. And then that risk of rain continues overnight across the southwest into uh, Sunday. Uh, so that's why I think the worst of the rain will be across South Wales and southern southwest England. Could be some amber warnings there. And that's a proper atmospheric river we get going, uh, non-stop heavy rain during uh, the day, even into Sunday and even into Monday on this model. Uh, so potentially a long duration heavy rain and to be honest, just miserable conditions across southern England and southwest England during Sunday. Especially when considering, as I said, you've got those strong winds mixing down from above uh, and initially widespread strong winds, focus along coasts and across kind of western areas. But then I do think we could see kind of a secondary risk developing across the south and southeast uh, during the day and the afternoon on Sunday, uh, 50 mile an hour gusts possible there. And potentially if we get a score line, uh, maybe even slightly stronger. And that's all in association with that strong low level jet across the southeast. Um, so essentially very stormy, very wet with the risk of flooding, but also the risk of significant snowfall as well. Beyond the weekends, we turn into Monday, and we can look again at the larger pattern. Things are turning generally more boring. We're probably going to see low pressure impact to the UK again on Tuesday and Wednesday. This is not going to be too bad. Probably rain and unneeded rain for the southwest, um, but no strong winds or anything like that. However, we do have a return to high pressure uh, during the week. It's not going to be a proper cold spell, but it will fall uh, fairly chilly across northern areas. And then beyond that, uncertainty uh, increases, but we'll have to watch the forecast to see what happens with that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll probably do another update tomorrow, but I just want to say the last week I've got so many views and likes and comments. Just uh, thank you so much for all the support with the forecasts. I hope you guys enjoy them, and I'm going to keep making them, of course, and I'll do more videos over the weekend. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.